I'm going to show you today how easy it is to download and print your compact weekly pages. So you will get an email um, with a PDF file and you're going to go ahead and just open that. I like to use PDF Exchange Viewer. Then you can save the alterations that you make. Um, Adobe works great. Adobe Acrobat works great as well. So I'm just going to open that up and there's your first page of your weekly pages. So we're not going to do anything on that page, but we'll scroll down here. There we go. This is just an area where you can put um, like a quote or the reminders or whatever. This down here is the month and I'm just going to do a three month. This is a three month set. So you will have three months. So this is, I'm just going to put March here. Then if you want to use the tab key, you can tab or you can just click on this area or tab and I'm going to put the year if you want to 2016. Now all these options you can also just write these in if you'd rather just write them in and not get on the computer and do this, but this doesn't take very much time as you can see. So um, this, you know, you can put a little note there. I'm just going to put smile and then we'll scroll down to the next page. Right here, there is a little note there that says first month slash two. So this is the second week of the first month. So I will still put March here and 2016. Scroll down again. We're on the third week of March. Um, now we're on the fourth week of March. Scroll down again, and this will be the second month slash one. So this is the first week of the next month that you're doing. So this is April. So now we are on the third month slash one. So this will be May. When you go to print out your document, you will just be printing out four pages at a, uh, let's see, seven pages at a time. And so we'll be printing on both sides of the paper. I'm just going to come down here to pages and I'm going to tell the, tell it to just the printer just to print pages one through seven. And we'll go ahead and print those out. So I just printed out the first seven sheets. Now as they come out like this, to print on the other side, I'm not going to um, turn it over. I'm just going to flip it around and put it back in the paper tray. Print pages 8 through 14. So now that I have that printed, this top page should, like that, should look like this and the underneath should look like this. So I'm going to make sure my paper is all lined up nice and cut that bottom edge off. Make sure your paper is lined up nice. Now I have it like this. I'm going to bring the, the bottom, the both the bottom edges together just like I was folding a book like this. And then you'll have the back, it, back edge and the front edge. So you can go ahead now and punch the holes in the left side if you're putting this in a planner. Or if I were to, um, if I'm going to be putting a binding on it with the sweater, I'm going to, and a good way to just keep that nice and even is these are Mongo paper clips, but you just regular paper clips would work um, probably even better. So. Then we're going to get ready to sew on our binding. So now you're going to get in your scraps of felted wool. I'm sure you all have a box, a beautiful box of pieces. Um, I'm going to use this orange strip and I'm going to cut a strip um, that is, it needs to be at least like seven and a half inches long and one and three quarters in width. So I'm just going to cut that off and I'll just leave it this long because I'm going to cut it off in just a minute anyway. 
you're going to find out which side that you want. Some kind, some wool sweaters have a really cool um, nap or texture on one side that you want to show. Just to decide which side that is and place that side down, face down, onto the edge of the inner binding edge of the the paper. Okay, so I have threaded my machine with the the same color of fabric that I'm using and also I'm using a denim needle. So you want to use a denim needle to make it strong enough or other, otherwise you might be breaking a needle. So I'm just going to sew. You can either sew a quarter inch or a three eighths inch. Some, I like to do a three eighths since it gives a little bit of wider binding edge and it's also easier to catch that, catch all of your sweater fabric. So lining up the edges, I'm just going to begin by sewing a straight stitch and back stitching at the beginning and at the end. So just sew it down, go and just slow, take your time. And I'm going to back stitch at the end. Okay, you can remove your clips now. And I'm just going to leave that long for a, a minute here. Fold that over and under and kind of keep it taut while we place it under the machine again. And what I'm going to be doing is stitching in, stitching right in this crevice here. So I'm pulling it back as much as I can and stitching as close to that fabric as I can. You can't even catch the fabric. In fact, I probably will a little bit here. Just the barely the, barely the edge. Sweater fabric. Then I'll turn it over on the other side. And I'm going to pull that sweater fabric back and clip as close to the seam as I can. No worries about the sweater fabric fraying. If it's felt and it is been washed, it's not going to fray. So you don't want to use too thick of a piece of sweater fabric. It won't. It'll be just too bulky. So you just kind of play with your pieces and see what feels good. So there you have it. It's all bound with that cute sweater fabric on the side. And open that up. And you've got your week at a glance there. So you have three months of weekly pages here. And I, I'm just going to go ahead and I just, instead of typing those in, I am just going to write in the days here. Great little do-it-yourself, um, unique, fun little weekly planner.